So I'm going to have my helper make some more food for the fridge because you guys are almost mm -hmm. out of your favorites, right? So yes. what are we going to make today, Ari? Rice and beans. Rice and beans, which is one of your favorites, right? Yes. So we need, I already put two cups of dried medium grain rice. There is medium grain brown rice, I should say. There's short grain, medium grain, and long grain. And the boys tend to like medium grain or short grain because it kind of gets stickier. A lot of adults prefer long grain, but is what it is. So we try to get medium or short grain when we can. Then we're going to need some spices. We're going to do cumin because you guys kind of like, um, uh, what's the word? Like Spanish sort of flavors, Mexican mm. flavors, mm -hmm. right. garlic and onion, some diced salt-free tomatoes, and some diced, or sorry, diced, <laughs> some salt-free black bean cans, right? Yeah. And we're going to be extra lazy. We're not even going to drain and rinse our beans, but it's probably a better idea to, because the recipe gets a little prettier if you rinse and dry, or rinse your beans, but mama is a lazy cook, right? Mm -hmm. So do you want to work on oh, maybe cracking those okay. cans open? Okay, and I'm gonna just put this camera down for a minute. Okay, so Ari, you're working on cracking both those cans. I'm gonna add a whole bunch of diced onions. That's some good flavor. And I do not measure almost anything, unless sometimes when I'm baking a little bit. And then some garlic. The boys don't like quite as much um, spice as my husband, um, so I don't go quite as crazy with it as I do with him. And then some cumin, probably the equivalent of about um, one to two teaspoons, at the very most two teaspoons for them, for the whole recipe. So two cups brown rice, garlic, onion, some cumin. And then, or do you want to dump them in? You can do it if you want. You like dumping things, don't you? Go ahead. And exploding things. And expl that's true. You guys like doing Lego explosions and things like that, right? Okay. So we have our black beans are getting dumped in. I like these pop-top kinds when they have them. So convenient. Especially if we're traveling. Good job. You want to get out our garbage can? That's exactly what I was doing. Okay. This takes like all of, what, two minutes to put together. Especially if we don't chat right and then it cooks all by itself in the instapot and then we have usually we get probably five six containers worth that i put in the fridge for the boys to heat up this is one of their favorite meals and then ari can you help me pour in this big careful but big thanks for putting the garbage away sweetie okay can we do the four cups of water okay that's what we need so we're going to use twice as much water as rice plus there's some liquid from the um, diced tomatoes and the beans even a little bit. So there we go. And you know what? You might have to move your chair now so we can get a spoon out. And we'll just give it one quick stir -roo. You want to do that carefully? Yeah, I can do. Okie mm, dokie. That's probably fine. Good. Let's go show them how we put it on the Instapot and forget about it. <laughs> Good one. Until it beats. Okay, so I just lifted the insert into my Instapot. This is an older Instapot, so the settings might look slightly different than yours, but basically we just put on the lid. That hasn't changed. Close it completely until it won't go any farther. Turn it to the right clockwise. And then we just, sorry, I have to close my microwave door. And then we just make sure this is on sealing so that if it's on venting, it won't, it won't come to pressure. So I just turn it till it's on sealing. And then, do you want to help me with this? You just need to hit pressure cook. That's usual. Yeah, that's what we always do. And now can you make it go down to 25? Remember the subtraction ones? Yeah. Yes. And how old are you, Ari? Seven. Yes. So a seven-year-old can turn the Instapot on. <laughs> it's, it's really not that hard, is it? And now what do we do? We well, hear, wait. Come on. And now wait. we just... Wait. Yes. <laughs> yes, wait for the delicious. So this is an older Instapot. It tells us it's done because you'll see an L and it's counted up. It's 47 minutes past the time um, that it actually finished cooking. So it's completely pressure released. I know that because the lid easily turns, but also you can see it because this little thing is down. It clicks down. It comes all the way up and locks when it's come to pressure and then it goes back down when it's released. 
So we do the opposite of what we did to close it. Let me show you that right here. It really is not so hard. And then we just lift it off. I usually just leave my lid here to dry. And I'm going to grab a scoop and we'll just give it a good stir and then scoop it into all our little Pyrex containers here. Okay, so I'm just going to give this a good stir. It's pretty liquidy. I probably could have added a little less water, but, you know, it's fine. <laughs> and I'll just show you what it looks like scooped out. I usually fill these containers, I don't know, with two to three scoops. That way my kids could just, like, take them out of the fridge. And then um, uh, just nuke them in the microwave to reheat them. They also like eating it fresh, of course. So let me just give you a better shot so you can kind of see what that looks like. So that is the steaming Mexican-style rice and beans. Often I don't add the tomatoes. Um, and I just use, like, sometimes even thyme and garlic and onion. We change it up, and some maybe some red wine vinegar I'll splash in there. We change up the version of rice and beans. Sometimes I add chickpeas instead of black beans. But they really like having just some kind of version of rice and beans in the fridge. Um, I don't do it all the time, but it's one of the ones we rotate regularly. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you have, please consider liking and subscribing. So you can see my new videos as they come out. Um, also consider commenting below and sharing some of the ways that you like to keep it simple.